I love my people. Happy Saturday, y'all. Lady Rose here to all my new subscribers. You're welcome. My returning subscribers, you all know I love you. A quick video, guys. Did you all see Kate Middleton? Ah, uh, did you see her? <laughs> yeah, we saw Kate Middleton, but I, I don't know if I can really tell that person was sick. Looks like it's like exactly the same Kate to me. Guess what? I'm not going to take the divorce off the table. I'm not sure what's going on here. I wonder if after today we're going to keep seeing her. I don't know how all this thing is playing out. Let's listen to the TikTokers real quick before I keep moving from here. <laughs> Guys, did you all see Kate Middleton? She looks great. I don't know. Like those big C nowadays, they kind of changed. Hmm. Yeah, this is the Ministry of Hack from the UK. Let's go for it. Let's dissect Trooping of the Colour together over the next three or four minutes and see where we get to. Sorry about the hair. I've been to yoga. I have no idea what's going on with it, but let's jump straight into it. Catherine K look great. Obviously, you can see in this photo, very, very smart, very, very polished, very, very thin. Do worry about her health, obviously, but great to see her out on parade. The conspiracy theorists of which I try not to be one of will say, if she's this well, what has she been doing for the last three months? Why couldn't she be supporting cancer survivors and doing a little bit more rather than hiding away? Comments are open. You tell me what you, what you think. I think she looks very, very well for someone that's undergoing prolonged cancer treatment. Um, the kids looked very unhappy in some bits when they got on the balcony. And by the way, the royal family did not spend a second longer on that balcony than they needed to. I've never seen anyone leave an event so quickly. The kids looked as though they've got really unhappy dead eyes at some moments. Again, comments are open. Tell me what you think. Kate's parents are normally called out by the BBC as being in the audience. There was no reference to Kate's parents at all today. The cameras did not focus on them. I suspect they weren't there. If I'm wrong, call me out. Tell me in the comments. Diana definitely sent the weather from heaven. The weather was absolutely shocking. Um, also, Republic, the pressure group, which are anti-monarchists, I could actually hear them on the TV ch chanting and shouting at some points. The BBC absolutely ignored it and actually drowned them out with other sounds, which I think is poor. The BBC should have addressed the fact that not everybody agrees with the millions, tens of millions of pounds that's been spent on that event today. Um, some of the BBC commentary made me want to puke. Um, here's some gems. The family have never had a stronger worth ethic. Um, they're workaholics. Giles Brandreth said, Charles and Camilla are workaholics. They're not doing 18 hour shifts in a warehouse for minimum wage. Um, the Royals are brave. They're happy to brave bad weather. Well, I'm not being funny. If my family was being paid two million pounds a month out of existing Royal funding routes, I would run naked through snow, to be frank, but there you go. Um, there are my points. Anything else? What do you think? It is. So, the Meditants were not there. Only Kate was there. So, her parents were not there. So, apparently, Kate Meditants' parents do get invited to the Trooping of Color. And they came in, in and out few seconds and gone. Well, y'all, just drop your comments here below because, you know, I'm hoping from now to go, we're going to keep seeing Kate more. I'm hoping so. Is it just me? And it could be. Let me know. Comments are open. But do the kids in this shot from Troop in the Colour today... Don't they look absolutely miserable? I mean, I understand we all, we all don't look our best when the cameras are off us or we're maybe drifting away into our own thoughts, right? When lots of things are happening around us. But these kids look miserable. But more importantly, they look a bit dead behind the eyes. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to stir the pot here and cause loads of bother. 
But I would have thought, with their mum being confined to either hospital or bed rest or recovery at home, for coming up to six months now, I would have thought that these kids would have been delighted to get out of the house and would absolutely be all over Troop in the Colour, which is a national UK celebration of history. Just look at them for a second and make your own decision. Unhappy, dead behind the eyes. Yeah, the pictures are posted. They're posted right here on my uh, on my YouTube page here. So y'all check it out. See, not the first, just back from yoga. Yoga gives you these, yoga is life. Also, before we dig into this, shout her in the comments. Does she want to off me or does she want to mm, buff me? Or praying mantis style, buff me and then off me. I don't know. Make up your own decision. Comments are open. It's great to see Kate again on the way to the Trooping of the Colour Ceremony. And in this shot, which I assume was video media, she's moving, she looks absolutely fabulous. I'm trying to ignore the fact she's dressed in tens of thousands of pounds worth of clothing when we've got millions of children growing up in poverty in the UK. I'm also trying to ignore the fact that she's been off the radar for months when she could have been helping other cancer survivors via discussions about treatment, diet, rest and recuperation, alternative medicine, the importance of family, being strong, emotional situations, etc., etc. But let's just park that for a moment. She looks great. It's good to see her back. It'll be interesting to see her and the children on the balcony later today. Yep. They are happy to see her. Guess what? I, 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 I'm thinking about <laughs> y'all. Don't be paying those uh, tarot readers. Those cards are false. <laughs> don't come for me, tarot readers. You know, I never went to those people, and I never believed. To, I never believed them. If anything, I cannot prove it scientifically. And if God can't prove some kind of miracle out there, I don't believe it. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I tell you, those if it, those people who like uh, follow those tarot readers and pay them their money, <laughs> learn from this one here. Learn. I did. I, I was like a challenging the tarot readers. I'm like, okay, let's see. This is psych psychic people. If they really do tell the truth, this lady said. Uh, Kate Middleton wouldn't come out here like she was communicating, talking with Kate's spirit. <laughs> Guys, please. The only person who can talk with the spirit is God. Jesus Christ. You know, pray to God in name of Jesus. I'm telling you everything of yours is going to be accomplished. All those uh, charlatans, whatever you call them, those people are fake. They are liars. They're going to keep you from going to heaven. I hope we all learn from this one. So from now to go, I will never even listen to their predictions anymore. I don't really believe in them. I never believed in them once. And today my doubt came to Yeah, my 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 my, my doubts got concluded by the nature. See, Kate came out and the terribly reading lady was lying to us. Ah <laughs> ah uh, uh. Uh, but the balcony appearance is the, the one thing throughout the year people look forward to, and it's not often you get to see them on the balcony. Yes, and it's now 12.58 by my watch. The fly pass is due to start at 1 o'clock this afternoon. I have had no message to suggest that it's been postponed oh, or cancelled. Yes, the doors are open uh, of, of, of the balcony. The king and queen are stepping out uh, onto the balcony, met by great cheers uh, from members of the crowd. I can see the Duchess of Edinburgh to their right as well as Lady Louise Windsor, uh, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, Princess Anne, Princess Royal, Tim Lawrence, her husband, uh, the Duke of Kent just coming in behind them on their right, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, but of course next to the King and Queen we have the Prince and Princess of Wales and her three children, so it looks like it's just working members of the royal family on the balcony plus the Day. Yeah, so they only had the working family members. It was only a few of them. 
the couple geriatrics people with uh, William and their children. So that's from GB News. GB News came out. I heard that GB News was shutting down in July. I hope that's the truth. <laughs> We're going to learn everything about those people, right? You're right. She does look amazing. I I didn't stay up. I was going to wake up and watch, try to find it and watch it live. But you don't even, I don't need, need to watch this live. This is Kate Middleton. This is exactly what she looks like. Sorry, HRH, Catherine, Princess of Wales. In fact, this is exactly what she looked like last time we saw her in December. I thought that she was so ill that she couldn't be seen. So... This raises a few more questions than it answers. So, if she was, sta she looks great here. So, if HRH Catherine Princess of Wales was staying out of the public eye, it, it clearly wasn't because uh, she was so incredibly ill that she couldn't be seen. Because again, there's very little change here between the old Kate and the new Kate. I'm going to use this photo for the apology that everyone... This is Catherine being found alive and well still begs the question, what were the last six months all about? Because to be honest, I believe the C word story even less now. Um, I had said that if she hadn't been seen in six months, there were kind of two, two possibilities. Either... She was incapacitated in some way, or she wasn't playing ball. To be honest, I still I believe option number two is still still in place. She wasn't playing ball all this time. And this is a close up of Kate on the balcony today. There is a scar, a long one, over her that crosses her left eyebrow. Can anyone confirm if this is new? Anyway, Kate, glad you're alive. And I hope you're safe. You know what? You're right. She does yeah, look amazing. That's a uh, Laura Burns design. Yep. So. All right, my people, please subscribe to Isabella Beck's channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to all this as friendly channel. Uh, we're going to keep you all guys posted around here with Kate Middleton. Thing. So let's hope she's going to stay out here. It's not just she came in and flushed out and uh, then he's going to go back in uh, uh, the, in the woods. So, so all right. I'll see you all guys on Isabella Beck's tonight. Bye for now. I love you all.